If you need desktop class processing and graphical power, the ZBook Fury has been HP's flagship mobile workstation of choice. New in the G10 models is 13th gen desktop class Intel HX processors up to Intel Core i9, 13950HX and NVIDIA RTX ADA graphics all the way up to the NVIDIA RTX 5000 ADA. Is it worth the mega bucks for your mission critical task? Let's find out. The G10 weighs in at 2.4 kilograms or 5.29 pounds with a 2.7 centimeter height thickness. It's not a laptop to hold or move around as it's bulky and heavy. If you watch my review of the Fury 16 G9, the G10 chassis and design is visually identical. It's designed for maximum cooling and upgradable options for the desktop level components inside. Military standard 810H tested, the solid chassis has no flexing on the keyboard deck or keyboard itself. Same can be said for the excellent protection on the display lid. It's superbly well put together thanks to the aluminium alloyed materials used. Also a green thumbs up to HP for using ocean bound and recycled plastics in the chassis. There's a vent grille strip next to the single display hinge and a large vent grille on the bottom cover for maximum cooling efficiency. Talking of bottom cover, the Fury has a beautifully designed quick release latch to slide open the maintenance cover. There's a security screw if you don't want users to fumble inside the unit. The internals are the same as the previous G9. To remove or add the SSDs, remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the copper bracket to the base enclosure. Remove the copper bracket, then remove the M.2 drive shield. This reveals the four M.2 slots. Depending on what type of M.2 storage you use, determines the maximum storage available. To upgrade the memory, pull back the black Meyer tape and pull the two pull tabs to lift the memory shield. This will reveal the four sodium slots, up to 128GB maximum memory. To remove the battery, pull the plastic pull tab on the battery connector to disconnect the battery connector from the system board. Loosen the five P1 Phillips head captive screws and pull out the battery. The wireless LAN module is removable too. This review model has a 16 inch diagonal WXGA 1920x1200 IPS anti-glare display panel. It's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen offering more height for workflows. It's a good screen with clear text, vibrant colors, and thanks to IPS technology, offers excellent viewing angles. Brightness is rated at 400 nits, plenty for indoor use and occasional outdoor use in a shaded area. The panel does get reflective with strong sunlight, even with the anti-glare coating. Color accuracy is rated at 100% sRGB, good for light to medium photo editing work or Premiere Pro 4K workflows. The majority of fewer users will plug in one or two external monitors to one of the many DisplayPort options available. The good news is the ZBook Fury range has a wealth of display options to cater for most user workflows. Here's a list of the display options available, including OLED, touchscreen, Dreamcolor, 4K, and HP's SureView privacy screen. On the left, we have a power connector, two Thunderbolt 4 with USB 4 Type-C, 40 gigabits per second signaling rate, USB power delivery display port 1.4, HP sleep and charge, a mini display port 1.4A, HDMI 2.1, and an SD 7.0 card reader. On the right, we have a nano security lock slot, gigabit RJ45 port, two USB Type-A 5 gigabits per second, one with charging, headphone microphone combo jack, and a smart card reader. Inside, there's an Intel Wi-Fi 6E AX211 2x2 and Bluetooth 5.3 wireless card supporting gigabit data rate. Wireless coverage during testing was excellent across two or three rooms in the office. Bluetooth was reliable throughout with the external mouse or a speaker. Some G10 models have an optional WAN card inside. Normally powered by Intel XMM7560 LTE Advanced Pro Cat 16 or Intel 5G Solution 5000 card. The keyboard in the G10 stays the same from its predecessor. The premium quiet keyboard is spill resistant, has two level backlighting and a numeric keypad. In practice, the keyboard is nicely spaced out with full size keys. Touch typing is fast and accurate with good tactile feedback. Not quite up there with the Lenovo ThinkPads, but close. The keys, even though labeled as premium quiet, do make some clatter when typing rapidly. F12 is a programmable key, opening the My HP app to customize a shortcut task to open a website, application, file, or folder. 
Certain models have the RGB per key LED backlighting using the Z Light Space app if you want some colour in your G10. The touchpad with multi-touch gesture support is generously large and smooth when gliding your fingers over it. The three physical mouse buttons are a joy to use with a satisfying click. It feels solid and has a quiet action when depressed. The physical buttons are useful for fewer users who wear gloves and or need an accurate response. The dual stereo speakers with discrete amps are tuned by Bang & Olufsen. For a workstation, the sound from the speakers is not half bad. Audio is loud and clear, great for video calls to a group. Hit play on your favourite Spotify playlist. Mids and highs are fairly balanced. There's even a hint of bass from the 200Hz bass roll-off. Here are some audio samples. The 5 megapixel webcam with IR sensors is very good in good lighting conditions. The video quality is sharp and clear. The dual microphone by the webcam and two at the rear of the display lid pick up audio clearly. An excellent webcam for daily video conferencing on Teams with your work colleagues. Inside this review model is an Intel Core i7-13700HX based on the Raptor Lake series. Eight fast Raptor Cove performance cores, P cores, with hyper-threading clocking between 2.1 to 5 gigahertz, 4.5 5 gigahertz all core boost and eight grace mont efficiency cores without hyper threading 1.5 to 3.7 gigahertz giving you 16 cores in total and 24 threads base power consumption or TDP sits in at around 55 watts. Turbo power consumption can go up to a theoretical maximum of 157 watts. More on this later. Along with a single stick of 32GB DDR5 5600MHz RAM and 1TB PCIe NVMe TLC SSD, the Fury G10 cuts through 3D rendering, CAD workflows and content creation jobs. For our benchmark tests, we set the best performance mode in Windows and plug the laptop in the mains during testing. Here are the benchmarking results for the the ZBook Fury G10. 3D Mark Time results came in with an overall score of 13,018, CPU score of 11,468, and a graphics score of 13,337. 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme overall came in at 6,304, graphics score of 6,302, and CPU score 6,321. 3D Mark Fire Strike Ultra results came in with an overall score of 6,430, graphics score of 6,461, physics score of 21,500. 47 and a combined score of 3079. 3D Mark Firestrike Extreme results came in with an overall score of 11,518, graphics score of 12,239, physics score of 18,579 and a combined score of 5,727. 3D Mark Port Royal score came in at 7,739, 3D Mark Speedway score 3,380, Cinebench 2024 testing produced a score in multi-core of 956 and 110 in single core. PC Mark 10 had an overall score 6,686. Superposition resulted in a score of 25,029. Geekbench 6. 0.2.2 CPU benchmark results came in a single core score of 2,505 and 10,375 in multi-core. The GPU compute benchmark results came in with a score of 126,675. Blender version 4 benchmark had a score of 254.97. Here is a comparison with the HP ZBook Studio G10 and the Novo ThinkPad P1 Gen 6 mobile workstations. The Intel i7-13700HX is is based on the i7-13700K. It sits close to its rival, the AMD Ryzen 7 7745HX, above the Intel i9-13900H and 18% behind the newer Intel i9-14900HX in general benchmarking performance scores. Using the quick CPU tool, plugged in, balance mode idle, CPU temperature is around 43 Celsius, CPU clock speed is around 1 GHz and 10 watts CPU power, with video playback balance mode, the i7-13700HX doesn't break a sweat at 47 Celsius on average, 1.23 GHz and 8 to 9 watts. The dual fans stay quiet and the temperature at the vents is 33.5 Celsius. Set to high performance plugged in running spec 
view perf benchmarking. The CPU fluctuates between 3 to 4 gigahertz. CPU temperature is between 69 Celsius to 93 Celsius and CPU power is 40 to 60 watts. The fans do kick in constantly at 48 decibels. Personally, it's not the loudest fans almost humming in the background while you're working. Set to high performance plugged in running Blender benchmarking, the CPU fluctuates between 3 to 3.8 gigahertz. CPU temperature is around 89 Celsius and CPU power is at a constant 100 watts. The fans do kick in faster at 52.5 decibels. Temperatures around the vents is 40 Celsius. In battery mode, balance mode, video playback, the CPU power is 15 watts on average. Clock speed is 2 to 2.5 gigahertz and CPU temperature is 42 Celsius. The fans stay virtually silent and chassis temperature hits 33 Celsius at most. Same can be said with running the Blender benchmark under battery mode. Best performance, the CPU is throttled down to keep temperatures down to the detriment of performance. CPU power goes from 40 to 20 watts in a few seconds, 2 GHz to 1 GHz clock speed and CPU temperature of 50 Celsius. The dual fans and vapor chamber do keep the fan noise and temperatures down when running heavy workflows. Here's a list of the target audience and usage for the HB ZBook Fury G10. Creative pros, product designers, architects and engineers, data scientists, game and VR developers, model training, deep learning, visual effects, data analysis, computer vision, 8K video editing, motion graphics, data visualization, real-time ray tracing. This G10 review model has an integrated Intel UHD graphics and a dedicated NVIDIA RTX 3500 ADA GPU with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. The RTX 3500 is a cut-down version of the RTX 4070 desktop with 5120 CUDA cores, 160 tensor AI cores and 40 ray tracing cores. TGP is rated at 60 to 115 watts. The ZBook Fury range has a ton of graphical options available at the time of purchase. Here are the alternative options. The RTX will have little difficulty running AAA games at Quad HD 1440p. Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty will easily run at 50 frames per second high settings. Older titles like GTA 5 will run at 90 frames per second plus in high setting. Here's some gaming examples. The Fury G10 has a wealth of security features to protect your sensitive data. The usual hardware ones like fingerprint reader, webcam privacy shutter, Windows Hello facial recognition and a TPM 2.0 encryption chip. On the software side we have HP Wolf Security Edition offering threat containment, malware prevention and credential protection technology. There's also HP SureClick Secure Browser. Rather than trying to recognize malware, it opens untrusted websites and files in their own isolated virtual containers called micro virtual machines, micro VM. Inside the G10 is an 8 cell 95 watt hour lithium battery. Using it for general light use in balance mode, expect just under seven hours. 
3D rendering or heavy CAD work in best performance mode expect a maximum of two hours. The Fury G10 is not one to use away from mains power. The 230 watt external AC power adapter will quickly recharge your PC with HP fast charge. You'll get up to 50% battery life in just 30 minutes of charging. The good, the bad, and the really bad. Performance King. The new 13th gen i7 13700HX and RTX 3500 ADA offers significant boosts in performance over their predecessors, especially the Nvidia GPU. No fear as this baby has plenty of power on tap for your heavy workflows. Good cooling. During general light to medium use, the fans from the vapor chamber hardly break a sweat, especially as the desktop level CPU and GPU are high end. Temperatures are also kept down during taxing jobs like using Blender, plethora of ports. Thanks to its chunky dimensions, we have plenty of ports to shake a tree. Two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports, two USB Type-A ports, RJ45 Ethernet, Mini DP, HDMI, SD and SC card readers. Easy upgrades. Where'd you find a laptop where you can easily slide out the bottom cover to reveal four, yes, four memory modules and a quartet of PCIe M.2 SSD slots too? Upgrade to your heart's content. Cramp USB-Cs. In the G10, they still haven't sorted out the spacing between the Thunderbolt 4 ports. If you have a wide USB stick, there's no chance you can plug this in next to something else plugged in. What battery life? Okay, if you're buying a ZBook Fury, it's really testing the boundaries of what a mobile workstation is. This isn't going to be your travel companion. Look at his cousin, the HP ZBook Studio for a lightweight mobile workstation. Money, money. In the UK, the Fury G10 starts at £2,000 plus taxes for the RTX A2000 GPU model to the Intel i9-13950HX RTX 4000 ADA model at 3200. Of course, if you start customizing more memory and storage, plus opt for the top dog GPU, the RTX 5000 ADA, you or your company will be parting with $4,500 to $5,000 easily. There's healthy competition in the high-end mobile workstation category. What are the alternatives to the HP ZBook Fury G10? In no particular order, here's some to consider. Dell Position 7680. Apple MacBook Pro 16. Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 6 16-inch Intel Razorblade 16 2024 MSI Creator Pro Z16 HX Studio B13V Asus ProArt StudioBook 16 OLED H7604 HP have stuck to the tried and tested chassis of the Fury G9 and upgraded it with worthy new processors in the 13th gen Raptor Lake HX family and significant updates in the NVIDIA RTX ADA graphics options, especially with the help of the 240 watt power adapter in the higher end GPUs. There's still the reliable solid chassis with easy to open bottom cover, an upgrader's wet dream in four memory slots supporting ECC RAM and four PCIe 4x4 M.2 SSDs. If you need a workstation with raw power on tap for heavy data or graphical tasks, great cooling, decent keyboard and touchpad, and upgrade options, the HP ZBook Fury G10 is still the king of mobile workstations. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the HP ZBook Fury G10 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,